Gideon, a man of God, and one of the great judges of Israel, lived 1400 years ago. And to this day, he is well known for his bravery. With God's help, he defeated thousands upon thousands of Midianites, just with 300 men. But he hadn't always been brave. Here's how it happened. Gideon was an Israelite, living in the land God had promised to his ancestors a thousand years earlier. But he and his family weren't so much living as hiding. For seven years the country had been terrorised by the Midianites, an invading horde so huge that no one could count them. Whenever the Israelites tried to grow some food to eat, or dig a well, or raise some animals, the Midianites would swoop down and destroy it all, so the Israelites would be left with nothing. They trampled all the crops, they killed all the animals, sheep, cows and donkeys, and they destroyed the towns and villages so that the Israelites were forced to live in caves and forts. One day, when Gideon was secretly threshing some wheat that he'd managed to grow whilst in hiding, an angel appeared out of the blue. Not only did he frighten Gideon, but he proceeded to talk nonsense. He said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Now Gideon had a problem with this. That's so not true. The Lord is clearly not with us. Or we hadn't have all this trouble with the Midianites. And it's all very obvious that I'm not a mighty warrior. I am a frightened farmer. But the angel didn't care about that. I am sending you to save Israel, he said. Go. In order to convince Gideon that the Lord really was with him, the angel performed several miraculous signs involving fire and sheep's fleeces and dew. This worked and Gideon experienced the power of the Holy Spirit when he destroyed an altar to a foreign god that the Israelites had been worshipping and replaced it with an altar to the Lord God. He was beginning to feel braver, and he managed to gather an army of 32,000 men. Now he felt ready to fight the Midianites, but God said no. The Midianites could not be defeated by numbers alone. The Israelites needed God's power to help, and God wanted to prove that, so he said, Anyone who is trembling with fear about fighting the Midianites Go back home. It turned out most of the army had been pretty scared, and more than two-thirds of them trotted off back to the safety of their cave homes, leaving just 10,000 men. But God said, That's still too many. Here is a way of sorting out which men to keep. Take them down to the river and let them have a drink. So Gideon did that, and noticed that while most of the men knelt down at the side of the water to drink, a few of them cupped their hands to scoop the water up to their mouths and lapped at it with their tongues, like a dog would. God said, We'll have the lepers, that's our army. I'll save you from the Midianites with just 300 lepers. And he did! Encouraged by a dream in which a Midianite saw a round loaf of bread tumbling into the camp and flattening the tents, Gideon gave each of his men a trumpet and an empty jar to hide a flaming torch in. Under cover of darkness, they spread out around the camp and on Gideon's signal smashed the jars and blew on the trumpets, held the torches high and shouted, a sword for the Lord and for Gideon! Confused and convinced they were outnumbered, the Midianites started killing each other. So all the Israelites had to do was chase them, which they did, right out of the promised land. And the land had peace for 40 years.